Pegasus, and it is dangerous. For the last week or soon, social media, regional and international mainstream media have been awash with stories related to a computer software known as Pegasus, a spyware developed by Israel cyber arms firm NSO Group that can be covertly installed on mobile phones running most versions of iOS and Android. Various reports allege that various countries, including Rwanda, have reportedly been using Pegasus to spy on the country's dissidents, among other people, through hacking into their phones and collecting information and giving it to the intelligence services. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, Dr. Vincent Biruta, says this is the second time Rwanda has been accused of using Pegasus. Only that those allegations this time are coming from people with interest in the ongoing terror trial involving Paul Ruse Sabajina. I would like also to make a comment on recent allegations against Rwanda that you have seen in uh, the press stating the use of a certain spyware by Rwanda. I would like to reiterate here that Rwanda doesn't use this software system as previously stated by the President of the Republic in 2019. We don't possess that technical capability in any form. It is also important to note the dubious methodology used in coming up with these accusations. Only 0.1% of the phone numbers on the list have been forensically examined and only half of those had traces of Pegasus. No one knows where the list comes from and what being on the list even means. Another element of this negative campaign is the recent pressure and tentative of meddling with court proceedings from those who teach us about independence of courts and equitable justice. This is simply racism and condescendence. Those who accuse you of not respecting the right to fair trial are the ones dictating you how the court should conduct its business. Those who accuse you of being authoritarian are the ones giving you ultimatums of what needs to be done and immediately. Those who accuse you of not providing justice to the accused are actually denying justice to the victims, maybe simply because these are not Hollywood celebrities or medalists. The government of Rwanda will not cede to any pressures and will deliver justice in all fairness as it is our constitutional responsibility to the people. Minister Biruta also says that among the other issues behind the Pegasus allegations come from people with ill intentions about Rwanda and the country's relations with other countries. These false accusations are part of an ongoing campaign to cause tensions between Rwanda and other countries and to sow disinformation about Rwanda domestically and internationally. Speaking to reporters when asked about Rwanda's relations with some neighboring countries, Minister Biruta says that while there was still work to be done, relations with Burundi were improving following Prime Minister Dr. Edward Njirene's visit in Bujumbura earlier this month. We keep engaging with the uh, government of Burundi and you can say that um, uh, there is some pro progress and uh, we hope that other actions will follow uh, the visit of the Prime Minister to Burundi. So there is still some work to do but there is some progress. In relation to Uganda, I would say that um, the situation has not changed very much. But uh, as a government, the government of Rwanda stands ready to restore a good relationship with all our neighbors, including Uganda. Other topics covered included the Rwanda-Denmark Agreement on Refugees and Migrants. Biruta refuted reports alleging that the agreement between the two countries provided that people living in Denmark illegally were going to be deported to Rwanda, as had been speculated. Innocent Mogabo, RTV News.